Hi, this is Brenda, and I wanted to do a little more in-depth look at our air fryer. So you're going to see, not see me, you're going to see the air fryer. Okay, so everything you see right here is what you get in your air fryer. We're going to start putting it together. So um, this right here, this is the only thing that cannot be put into the dishwasher. This is our tray that goes in the bottom. So it does need to be hand washed. And um, we, you get this, looks like a tray, but it's not. It actually is, goes at the very top and it's to protect the heating, the heating element up top is to protect the heating element. So if you have a roast in here that's going to um, be go um, rotating, that's going to just protect the heating element from any of that, um, the, the roast itself. And you get two trays. So there's actually three layers that you can put the trays on. So it's this first one, and this one, and then one other layer. So you can purchase a replacement of this, which I have, and it's um, on its way. The light just went out. I'm going to actually turn it back on. Uh, not going to lie. There. Um, so that you can have a third, which um, when I am doing dehydrating, I just did some apples. I could have really used that third one. Um, but if I'm going to do anything fairly thick, I probably would not want to, but it is available. So I'm going to take these out and show you our rotating basket. So to put this in, um, I'm just going to use it like this. You're going to match up. Um, so on, on the left hand side, it will be a something that looks like this and has um, you know the grooves. You're going to want to stick this in there and move it towards the right, the, towards the left, sorry, and then just have this other side rest on. There's just a little um, shelf here so that when you put it in there and move it over to the left, it's actually engaging on that um, um, bolt or whatever we want to call it so that it's going to rotate. So then I would just close it and um, stick it on air fry and it will automatically rotate if um, it is Actually, I'm going to say that wrong. I did say that wrong. So if it's on rotisserie, it will automatically turn that. But if I wanted to air fry f um, French fries, I turn on air fry and then hit this button here and rotate. So by hitting that, it's going to have it um, start turning. And of course it's gonna be hot uh, when I take it out. So we get we have this retrieval tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on either side here and grab the, um, the bars, and I'll show you that again. And um, I just lift it up, moved it to the right, and it became disengaged from the left-hand side. And there you go. So I just matched it up onto here. Real quick, I am going to show you. I gra have grabbed one of my... This is hot now, right? It's gonna roll. I grabbed one of my stackable cooling racks. You can see the grid lines. This can go right into one of the grid lines and it's gonna stay there. And of course, you're gonna use a hot pad. But what you can do is get over here where the latch is, use your retrieval tool. Let's see if I can show you. And lift that up and then you can get whatever's in there um, and I'll show you what I actually use I actually grab one of my chef's tongs and then take out whatever's in there uh, so that's a, a nice little simple way to actually open this and um, I will open this again so you can see there is one bar down here and that's what's going to help everything rotate when it's on there. Get that out of the way. And you 
also get um, I don't know, spit, whatever you want to call it, for the rotisserie. So um, you have these little butterfly things. You would, the only thing is that sometimes it's kind of hard. Um, take this off. You would put your meat right on here and make sure that it is, this is stuck in the meat. And then come back with this one and line it up. Jab this into your meat and turn it. And that's not going to go anywhere. So then when you put this on and put it on rotisserie, it's the same thing. You want to make sure this is seated in on the left and then it rests on the right here. And then on rotisserie, it's going to go around. Okay. So that's what you get in here. I will give you a little hint. Um, so you have your racks in here uh, and you put it on for 20 minutes. It's going to beep at you after 10. So, and that's to tell you to rotate your uh, trays. So that just means to move the bottom one to the top and the top one to the bottom. Now you can do toasted cheese sandwiches here. And this is something I just was shown and what a great thing. Um, and some things uh, like the, I'm going to be doing the stromboli and I'm gonna do a live there and I could, you turn it upside, turn the stromboli upside down and then halfway through you flip it over. But what you can do is, if you have your stromboli or your your toasted cheese sandwich, put this on there and then that's how you can rotate it. Oh my goodness. So then you're not trying to fumble with, you know, a tongs or whatever, but so it's one way to do that. And, um, something else I was just thinking I wanted to tell you I don't remember anyway so that's what you get within here and you can there is one other thing that you can purchase as of right now and that is a skewer set so this is similar to this and you would do the same thing just put it in there um, seat it in there and let this side rest but then you get eight skewers and I just keep them all together with a Twix -a clip but you would and I've done it I put steak and shrimp on here and then in between the steak pieces I put some full garlic cloves it was awesome and then match it up and then you just pinch this actually you put it in the hole there and move this down and then pinch this that and then um, to get it out you just pinch it and pull it out again but you can put um, all eight on here and then stick this in there and then hit the rotate or the rotisserie and um, have your skewers so those are fun um, oh let me go through what we have here so we have our cancel button so if you had you know, you just want to cancel it there is no on off button uh, it will always flash like this and that's because this is a energy drainer so the company wants you to unplug it when you're not using it so it's going to keep flashing like this unless you unplug it that's just so you're it's a reminder for you that you want to unplug it um, but we have custom so if I wanted to um, not these are all six different um, presets if I wanted to change something like the time or the temperature I can do that by hitting custom you have rotate here so that's if I had the basket in there and I wanted to air fry I could rotate the basket and then the light so i um, just going to turn this knob and air fry it presets it for 25 minutes and um, 400 degrees you can change the time by clicking the button and then that's going to flash. So you can change the time by rotating that, but you cannot change 
and I don't want it to start. Sorry. Um, oh, Lordy. You're going to just unplug it. <laughs> you cannot set the temperature. Air fry means it's 400 degrees. So bake, you can change either um, of the time or the temperature. And this is, um, you know, if you're going to bake cookies, set it the same um, temperature. You might want to set it a little bit less on time. We can roast, which when I do a, um, a roast or um, any kind of meat on the, the rotisserie, you can um, do that on roast here. So it would do 10, 375. If I went to rotisserie, it's um, going to you know, put it up to 400 degrees. So, um, you know, those are your two different, um, how I would do a roast, depending on the temperature you want. And reheat. This will change how you eat your leftover pizza. So um, if you hit reheat, put your pizza in here. It's not going to come out soggy like if you had the microwave. So our baby here and then we have dehydrate so one thing I would suggest that you purchase besides just the skewers is these are the microwave grips that's what they're called they now come in as a gray not the red but they're perfect if you're just going to rotate your trays you're just using your fingertips what I have with mine um, some people are suggesting especially um, if you have to go farther in there's um, finger grips or I don't know what they're calling but they're they actually come up to your wrist similar but um, honestly if I have to go in farther I'm going to use my retrieval tool so I think that was it but I wanted to show you my air fryer I have been using this uh, almost every day um, lots of dehydrating of fruits and um, meats to do jerky you can do the jerky right in that dehydrate um, air frying obviously and so I had this I don't know how I lived with that one um, you know everyone's telling me to get an air fryer but I got my baby here and uh, this is mine I love it and if you have any questions I would love to answer them for you Okay, talk to you later.